iManage Share is iManage's file sharing and collaboration offering and makes an excellent addition to the iManage solution portfolio. Some key features of the iManage Share solution I want to talk about before we move on to the demo is it's easily integrated with the iManage Work products and Microsoft Outlook. So here we're talking about things like uh, iManage Desk Site and iManage File Site. It's self-service. So end users are able to provision new collaboration spaces and third party user accounts in seconds instead of having to go through cumbersome IT administration processes. And lastly, it's secure. So it offers the highest levels of encryption, including BYO encryption keys and the choice of data centers in the US, UK or APAC. So looking at the way that iManage Share works, there's two main use cases that we can operate with the iManage Share platform. The first one is collaboration, and the second one is secure sending. So collaboration use case might involve a situation where I have a, a customer that I want to start working with. I want to share a number, of, a number of files with them. I may want them to collaborate on those files and perhaps upload new versions, and I want them to be able to authenticate to the system and uh, track any changes or um, downloads or views that they're making to the content that's been shared with them. The way that we achieve that with iManage Share is through collaboration folders. And you'll see here I've got my Ford Motor Company L Johnson project workspace. And within it, I've got a blue folder, which is my iManage Share collaboration folder. Anything that is copied, dragged, or moved to the collaboration folder is actually copied up into the iManage Cloud and made available to the users who have access to the collaboration folder. The easiest way for a user to get a document into the collaboration folder, they can just do a simple drag and drop, or for example, this CBC contract, I can right click and say copy to client folder. On my iManage share window, here I'm able to select the folder that we're copying it to, and if in the case where I wanna create a new collaboration folder, I can certainly do that on this screen. I can choose which files I'm copying into my collaboration folder. And on the share tab, I can also indicate who I want to be able to access this collaboration folder. So I've already got a couple of users on this one, but if I add a new user, so for example, here I'm going to say Andrew at customer.com, the system's gonna check our address books and it's gonna note that actually Andrew at customer.com doesn't exist. And as you can see here, it says press enter to confirm or add user Andrew at customer.com. By hitting enter, it's gonna provision a new account for Andrew in our iManage Share database. It's gonna send Andrew an email telling him that a collaboration folder has been shared and ask him to uh, activate and set a password on his account. Once I've determined which third parties or which users I want to start collaborating with, I can just hit the copy to folder button and that's gonna go ahead and take a copy of that document from my iManage database and put it up into the iManage cloud. After Andrew's received the email message notifying him he has a collaboration folder, he'll be able to go to the link in the email and you'll see here it goes to iManageShare.com and log in using his username and password. Yep. When users log in, they only see the collaboration folders that they have access to. And you can see I can browse through the L Johnson project collaboration folder, and there's that CBC contract, which I just uploaded. So I can view it directly in the interface. I can also download the document to my desktop. So that document's been downloaded. And I can also do things like adding a new version or having a look at the uh, history or changing security on that particular document depending on what rights have been provided to me from the iManage shared desktop interface. If I go back to desk site and have a look in my L Johnson collaboration folder and have a look at that CBC contract document, I can view it. More importantly, I can look at the document history and I can see that from the iManage share interface, someone has logged in, they've viewed it, and they've downloaded it. And so I've got a complete audit trail of the activities that have occurred on that document while it's up in the iManage cloud. Once I've finished collaborating on this particular document, I'm able to right click 
and save the document back into iManage Work. So it's going to remember the original location where the document came from, and I'm able to save it back into iManage as a new version and bring it down back from the iManage Share Cloud. The second use case I have is secure sending of attachments. And I can show you this from Microsoft Outlook. So if I create a new email message, I'm gonna send this to myself. Normally I might do things like attaching files from my desktop. I might attach a file or a link from my iManage database. Put a link in there. And normally I would just send that to a third party and they would actually receive an email with the full file attached to that document or they'd have the NRL link which perhaps they may or may not be able to access. So that, pro that poses a couple of problems. It means that we've got uh, copies of these documents as attachments in our various different people's email, email boxes and also as soon as that document uh, leaves my organisation I lose control over who can access it and what people do with it. So instead what I'm going to do is send with iManage Share. By hitting that box it's going to give me a secure send uh, window and here I can determine what kind of uh, anonymous security I want to put on this particular document. So I'm going to put a password I'm going to say, hey, these documents expire after seven days. And in this case, I'm going to say that it's going to expire after one download. So I'm going to hit yes to all. And what's going to happen there is you can see iManage Share is processing this in the background. And it's actually copying those two attachments up into the iManage Share cloud and will replace those attachments in my email with a neat link that the recipient is going to be able to click on and access those documents. So I've received the email and you'll notice those two documents, those two attachments have been replaced by neat um, HTTP links and I'm able to right click and access those documents directly from iManage Share. So as a user, click the link will take me to the iManage Share public website, which, location, which time I can type in the password that I've been given for this particular document, and I'm able to download it to my desktop. Just to show you the way that the security works, if I click that link again, It'll take me to the same location. I'll enter my password that I've been given to access this link. But we notice that it's not found, so we couldn't find the item because it may have been deleted. And this is because that share, is ex that share link has expired because the max number of downloads has expired as well. So that pretty much covers the two ways that we can utilise iManage Share. First of all, by using collaboration folders, in which case we can allow access to specific users to um, upload, download, create new versions, or just access documents within my iManage Share collaboration folder. And the second concept is the ability to do a secure send, whereby I, I apply a level of um, security and access controls to a link for any attachments that I may have previously sent along with an email message.